Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about electric vehicle powertrain sizing using MATLAB. First of all, we will discuss about what are all the requirements in powertrain sizing. Whether it is a conventional vehicle or electric vehicle, we have to concentrate on these parameters that is acceleration performance, maximum velocity and gradability. In case of electric vehicle, we have to discuss about what is the range also. So in this first part of this video, we are going to discuss about these three parameters that is acceleration performance, maximum velocity and gradability. With respect to this, we are going to develop the machine requirements. In the later part, the second part of the video, we are going to discuss the battery range. So acceleration performance is nothing but it is a time taken to accelerate from 0 to maximum velocity. For an example, uh, nowadays you can see any advertisements. For an example, if you take TVS Apache, for an example, uh, that two wheeler will reach a minimum of 0 to maximum of 80 miles per hour within 11 seconds. So that is nothing but it is an acceleration performance. The second one is maximum velocity, the velocity, the maximum velocity that the vehicle can attain. The third one is gradability, the speed that the vehicle can sustain on a given grade. Let us consider uh, you are having a car and you are driving your car in a hill station. This slope of road is nothing but it is a grade. Actually, it is normally defined by alpha, but technically it is given as a gradability. The cause gradability is its ability to climb slopes. Normally, the gradability is measured in terms of percentage. 100% of gradability is equals to 45 degree of slope. For an example, if you take uh, Land Rover Discovery or Mitsubishi Pajero, these cars can easily climb 45 degree of slope because they designed the car for 100% of gradability. Okay, so with this introduction, I'll move on to the real time requirement. So let me take a problem statement. So in this part of video, we are going to define the motor specification of a small electric vehicle city car of mass 1310 kg and its mass factor is 1.097 and it can cover a maximum range of 105 km with the drive cycle source of class 3 cycle. And the various parameters like a drag coefficient, frontal area, gear ratio as a given here. And in this vehicle 15 inch wheels are used that means uh, here the 15 inch refers only the diameter of rim it's not a diameter of the whole vehicle whole wheels okay we have to calculate the diameter of wheel from the given specifications and it's a it's having a battery of voltage of 124 volts maximum and 106 volts nominal voltage and it's using a panasonic 18650 lithium cells now, I am going to design the motor parameters that is what is the maximum torque required, maximum power required and speed range of motor for these requirements. Okay, so my requirements, the first requirement is the acceleration performance. My vehicle will reach a minimum of 0 to maximum of 60 miles per hour within 11.5 seconds. This is the first requirement. Second requirement is my vehicle should reach maximum velocity of 81 miles per hour. The third requirement is my vehicle should go in a gradability of 6% at the speed of 45 miles per hour. Now, which one should I consider as a velocity of my vehicle to design the motor parameters? If I consider the first one, acceleration performance, of course, that velocity will satisfy this acceleration performance but may not satisfy the second one and third one. If I consider the third one, example, 6 percentage at 45 miles per hour, it may not satisfy first two criteria. So in such a cases, we have to calculate the power requirement, 
torque requirement, speed requirement for all the three cases and we have to pick the maximum value. That maximum value will satisfy all these three criteria. So that is actually the procedure we have to follow in powertrain sizing. Okay, so these are the actually motor parameters. I will tell you how to develop the same with the help of MATLAB to identify this maximum torque, maximum power and sp speed range for the given specifications. So I'm straight away going to going onto the MATLAB. I already defined the program is already defined. Okay, I'll explain the line by line of program. At the same time, I'll attach the program file in YouTube also. Okay, so you can easily download it and you can work on it. In this first part of video, we will discuss only about motor parameter. In the upcoming parts, I will discuss how to do the same thing for battery pack also. Let me share my MATLAB screen. You can see that M file is available. Let us discuss this program line by line. So whatever the parameter, the first, if you look at this, the first portion of this program is nothing about the declaration of data for torque and power calculation. So what is the mass of vehicle? What is the mass factor of car? Okay, and then grade ratio, gear ratio, rolling resistance, drag coefficient, vehicle frontal area, and we calculated the radius of tire also. How to calculate the radius of tire at all? I have already discussed in uh, one of my video. You can refer it. If the radius of uh, the tire mark sizing is given, you can easily calculate the radius of fee. <coughs> and here, whatever the drive time efficiency which I considered is 87 percentage. The first portion of this program. It's nothing but declaration of data, declaration of variables. The second portion, it's declaration of constants. What is acceleration due to gravity is 9.81. Density of air, it's 1.2. And whatever the grade percentage I'm using, it's 6 percentage. That's a requirement. Okay, you can see. That is a requirement. It's a 6 percentage. So once this portion is over, then it's a conversion factor. The, the purpose of this conversion factor is to convert all the velocity into meter per second. Okay, miles per hour will be converted into meter per second. Kilometer per hour will be converted into uh, miles per hour. Roti uh, RPM, revolution per minute will be converted into radian per second. Kilometer per hour will be converted to meter per second. These and all, these conversion and all, it will be helpful for me. To do the calculation because the equation requires only meter per second, not kilometer per hour, not miles, not miles per hour. Okay, and then I'm going to define the program for various performance data. This is actually the requirement. See this: the maximum velocity, whatever the maximum velocity required, it's 81 miles per hour. That is converted into meter per second. The grade angle is 45 miles per hour at 6 degree okay and then the uh, maximum acceleration is 60 miles per hour that 60 miles per hour should be reached within 11.5 seconds these are all the actual requirements performance data clear the first portion is declaration of variables the second portion is declaration of constants Third portion is conversion factors. Fourth portion is performance data. Because this is the requirement of my VD. Once it is over, then I'm going to calculate the power, torque and speed for all the three criteria. So if you want to calculate the power, torque and speed, first we need to calculate the total tractive effort. That is what is aerodynamic drag, rolling resistance, acceleration resistance and grading resistance. For these things, how to calculate these total tractive effort and all, we already discussed in one of my previous video. You can refer that one. Okay, so with the help of equations, you can easily calculate the total tractive force. Once the individual forces are calculated, you can easily add all the forces which will give you total tractive effort. Okay. For a first condition, if you look at this, 
in my first case, I'm going to consider the maximum acceleration. What is my maximum acceleration here? This is VACC. That is, my vehicle should reach a maximum of 60 miles per hour within 11.5 seconds. That is the maximum acceleration. Okay, so I'm going to consider this VACC in my first case. If you look at this, I'm going to calculate the total tractive force, that is aerodynamic force, rolling resistance force, acceleration force, and grading force for the case one. So here, as of now, I'm considering cos alpha and sin alpha is zero because I don't want I don't want to consider this alpha in this case. Third case I'll consider. Once it is over, then you can go for the net torque and power calculation of motor. The first equation refers to the calculation of total tractive effort. This is total tractive effort calculation. The second equation which will give you the torque required on wheels. And then the third equation will give you torque of motor fourth equation will give you the speed of motor And fifth equation will give you power of motor. You can refer any source for this calculation and all. The first equation will give you the total tractive effort. If you multiply the total active effort with a radius of wheel, which will give you the torque required on wheels. From that torque required on wheels, you can easily calculate the torque required on motor with the help of this equation. Once the torque is calculated, then you can go for speed of motor as well as the power of motor. So formula to find out the power of motor is torque multiplied with speed. Okay, it's a common, common one. Once the first case is over, repeat the same procedure for second case. That's a maximum velocity. But here, what you need to do is, instead of this VACC, you have to replace VMAX because it's a second criteria, right? The you have to repeat the same procedure for VMAX. You have to calculate the total tractive effort, torque on wheels, torque on motor, speed of motor and power of motor for second case also. Similarly, you have to repeat the same thing for third case. It's a V grade. Here, you can consider this alpha value. So whatever the alpha we are using, it's, it's a 6 percentage. If you convert this 6 percentage to degree, and then that degree should be converted into radian, the value is 0 0.04712. 6 percentage of readability, first it should be converted into degree, and then should be converted to radian. That will give you 0 0.04712. Okay. So you have to repeat the same procedure for the third thing. At last, you will get three values. Okay. That means three total right effort, three torques on wheels, three torque on motor, three speed of motor, three power of motor. So from that, we have to pick the maximum value. For that, you can use the function called max. It's an inbuilt function of MATLAB. So from that, you can easily calculate what is the maximum torque, what is the maximum speed, and what is the maximum power required to drive the vehicle. At last, I displayed the results. Okay, just executing the file. This will give you 
the maximum torque of motor maximum power of motor and maximum speed of motor you can easily refer this the same value actually so, 270 newton meters there it's coming around 2.691 into e power 2 newton meter this will give you 113 kilowatt this will give you 5456 rpm that is 5456 rpm okay so this is the way you can size the powertrain of electric vehicle for motor specifications similarly you can do the same thing for battery specification that i will give you in the part 2 video i hope you got some clear idea about what is a powertrain sizing thank you kindly subscribe the channel and videos if you want to mail me you can use this mail id thank you